Hey there, viewers. You obviously know about tooth plaque, but did you know that plaque can grow in your arteries as well? The arteries carry oxygen and blood from your heart to your tissues. If the plaque is caught within them, your blood flow will be reduced. This leads to heart disease. Many of us go years without realizing our arteries have plaque. Let's talk about ways you can reverse arterial plaque. What exercises do I do? Do I have to stop eating certain foods? Wait, do I really have to cut out alcohol? We're talking all that and more. Number one, cut down on booze. I know the holidays are coming up and you're going to be tempted to drink, but if your arteries have been building up plaque, you're going to want to cool it on the booze. This includes some of your aunt's special eggnog. Excessive alcohol consumption has been linked to high blood pressure. This eventually leads to heart attack and stroke. A regular drinking routine also contributes to cardiomyopathy, a disorder that affects the heart muscle. Now, I never said stop drinking entirely. A little can be beneficial. It's been said that drinking a moderate amount of alcohol can raise your level of HDL. This is known as the good cholesterol. Because of the antioxidants in red wine, it's been linked to better heart health. But don't let this blind you. Moderate alcohol consumption usually means just one drink a day for women and two for men. Pounding back seven or eight beers a night isn't exactly ideal if you want to clear your arteries from plaque. Research has suggested that drinking heavily over a period of time will reduce blood flow and increase your risk of heart disease. So think about this next time you consider going on a weekend bender. How many drinks have you had in a single night? What was the occasion? Sound off in the comment section and start a conversation with the Bestie community. Number two, stop smoking. What, smoking is bad for you? Who would have thought? One of the best ways to reverse arterial plaque is to quit smoking. Smoking is responsible for an estimated one in four cardiovascular deaths. This is because cigarettes will increase the formation of plaque in your blood vessels. The clogged arteries will only move you closer to heart attack and stroke. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. In this case, that tunnels your artery. Quitting smoking will help reverse arterial plaque and decrease your risk of cardiovascular disease. You'll start to see the differences almost immediately. Within one year, your risk of having a heart attack will drop dramatically. Even people who've already had heart attacks can reduce their risk of having another. What's even crazier is that after five years, you'll have decreased their chances of stroke to that of someone who's never had a cigarette. Whoever said quitters were losers certainly didn't think about this. Number three, exercise more. We all need a little more exercise in our life, but for people with backed up arteries, a good workout is even more important. Health experts suggest that an at-risk person should aim for 30 to 60 minutes of cardio per day. But don't worry, you don't have to sprint four miles in a single session. Cardio can mean as much as a walk through your neighborhood, maybe even a light jog. Other aerobic exercises include swimming and biking. Whichever you choose, you're making the right decision. Through being active, you're putting your heart and lungs to good use. You'll be breathing in fresh oxygen and improving your blood flow. Just make sure you're not working out too hard this can put even more of a strain on your heart. Working out with bad arteries can cause dizziness, shortness of breath, nausea, and some really bad chest pain. So watch out for that during your exercise. Number four, why are you being salty? You may not realize this, but a lot of what you're eating is loaded with salt. The average American consumes 3,400 milligrams of sodium per day. That's way more than you're recommended. Now, of course, you need some sodium. The human body uses it to relax your muscles, maintain water and mineral balance, and operate the nerves. But you really only need about 500 milligrams for these things to happen. High blood pressure and heart disease can be directly linked to excessive sodium. Because your arteries will be blocked by buildup, blood will have a hard time getting to your heart. This creates stress and leads to a possible heart attack or stroke. Before we continue, are you looking to get in shape? Has it not been working out so far? Well, check out our recent video discussing 11 mistakes that are hurting your fitness goals. 
Now, back to our discussion on how you can reverse plaque in your arteries. Number five, cut down on fried foods. I know we all love some good deep fried pickles from our favorite restaurant. A good appetizer sometimes sets the mood for a night out. But your diet is key in maintaining healthy arteries. Fried foods are generally loaded with calories and trans fats. A regular diet of jalapeno poppers and cheese sticks will raise your LDL levels. This is known as your bad cholesterol. If you're a person who loves to drown yourself in fried mac and cheese bites, your artery plaque will gradually rise. Your heart certainly won't appreciate this. Not only are these foods linked to high rates of heart disease, but also obesity and diabetes. This is all the more reason to put down the fried foods. Number six, stay away from fast food. Fried foods is one thing, but fast foods is in another ballpark. Fast food incorporates both fried food, processed meats, thick bread, and sometimes even candy. Whatever your fast food vice is, eating a lot of it will destroy your heart. A regular Big Mac combo from McDonald's is almost 1,100 calories. And that's just one fast food option. Take a look at Burger King. A King Double Stacker is over 1,000 calories on its own. The fries and soda aren't even included. What makes things scarier is that some people eat like this on the regular. In a poll from 2018, nearly 16% of the US population stated they eat fast food between four to six times a week. Think about what your arteries look like after all that fat and sugar. Research shows that people who eat a regular diet of fast food have much higher cholesterol levels than those who eat it just once in a while. Cutting back on your favorite burger place will start to reduce your LDL cholesterol. So give your arteries some room to work and say adios to all the Wendy's for just a little bit. Number seven, cool down on the processed meats. I mentioned this briefly in the last point, but it deserves its own discussion. Processed meat is a no-no when watching the health of your heart. This means less bacon, hot dogs, and sausage. Remember, moderation is key. If you're not eating this stuff in moderation, your arteries are going to get a lot of plaque. Processed meat is loaded with bad cholesterol. Eating things like bacon every morning has been shown to increase your chances of heart disease. A study from 2017 showed that people who eat an extra 50 gram serving of processed meat every day saw an increase in their heart disease risk by 42%. So if you're trying to save your arteries but still crave a tasty breakfast, try my next pick. Number eight, eggs. More eggs. Finally, something we can eat for a change. For the longest time, the cholesterol in eggs was seen as dangerous. Health nuts would avoid it. But research has shown that eggs really don't impact your cholesterol levels in a negative way. In reality, eggs will increase your HDL. This is the perfect food to eat if you're trying to get your heart in shape. Whether it's in the form of an omelet or freshly scrambled, eggs are a nutritious way for anyone wanting to improve their health. The good cholesterol that eggs bring will decrease the stress on your arteries. A higher egg consumption will likely improve your blood flow, making your heart much happier. Thinking of making the jump from a fatty breakfast sandwich to freshly cooked eggs? Eat one to three eggs a day. This is shown to be the healthiest quantity. There are so many great foods that help not only your cholesterol, but your health in general. Can you really ever get enough? All right, let me get into some specifics. Try this video on 11 foods to avoid if you want to unclog your arteries. Or how about watching one for foods that clean your arteries and prevent heart attacks? Can't go wrong. I mean, you'll have to cut back on ice cream and cake, but you'll make up for this with all the delicious fish and oranges you can have. Have you battled arterial plaque in the past? Let us know in the comments below.